G'day guys, it's Ryan from Sports Science Collective here and I'm just going to quickly run through this uh, Excel template for planning your annual training year. So first thing we'll do here is add our athlete's name. So click this button, we can add our athlete's name. Let's call him old mate Pete, Peter Johns. Over to the right here we can add some additional information that we might have um, that's interesting to our athlete's training year. Um, that can be whatever you like. Over here, we've got our add competitions. So if we hit this button, it'll take us to this sheet. Um, and as you can see, we can um, add some competitions in here. Um, I've got five put in here already. Um, and I can clear these by clicking this clear all competitions button. Um, but let's add them into our template here. As you can see, they start to pop up uh, where they're required based on the week that they're gonna occur in. Um, and this will also highlight if it's a home or away game. Up here we can change the, the date that we want to start our training plan on. So by clicking up, we'll increase uh, the, the starting week by one. Um, let's start on the 2nd of Jan as our first week. Um, and then we can come down to our periodization here. So setting our phases, subphases, and so on. So the first one we'll do is our subphase, or our phase, sorry. We'll click this phase button. Uh, let's call it the prep phase. Um, and we want it to run for 20 weeks. We can see that comp start in week 21. So let's run that for 20 weeks. Our comp phase will run for 10 weeks and our off season will run for 22, sorry. We can see it starts to populate in here. We can do the same thing here for our sub phases. So let's say general prep runs for 10 weeks and our specific runs for 10 weeks as well. Let's say we have our preseason uh, runs for three weeks and then our in-season runs for uh, the remaining seven weeks and then our off-season runs for 22. And again, we can see it starts to populate in here. Uh, we can now go down to the next level. So we'll add our macro cycles into here under these. Uh, you'll see over to the right here on this little form, uh, it gives us our general, our specific, our pre-season, in-season and our off-season phase. So we've got an idea of the length of them. Uh, so let's go through and start breaking these up. So let's go macro one and two, if we go for five weeks. Uh, macro cycle number three and four, let's go for five weeks again. Pre-season, we'll go for three weeks there, and then let's break the in-season into two. And then finally, our last block there. And if we hit enter, we'll see it starts to populate in here. You can see it's a little bit more detailed now. Uh, the next thing we'll do is start to set our um, focus that we're gonna have for each block. So we've got our strength training and our conditioning focus that we can set. So if we hit this button, it comes up and we'll start to input the, the focus of the strength training that we might have. So let's go hypertrophy. Uh, maximal strength. And let's just say power. Okay, and we can also do that for our conditioning. So let's say, we're gonna hit some aerobic stuff, um, some anaerobic, maybe some speed. Okay, we'll hit enter here. So let's set the length of these now. So by clicking this button, it'll bring up this, this sheet here. Um, and again, we can see we've got some sub phases here in our macro cycle. So we can start to put some more detail in about exactly what we're gonna target. Let's go maximal strength and hypertrophy and let's go power for maximal strength again. So let's go five weeks, five weeks, five weeks. So you can put as many of these in, of these in as you like. It's up to you. Enter, 
will start to populate here, as you can see. If we uh, continue on for the rest of the annual plan, we can start to fill it in. Um, underneath, you can start to add some comments about uh, what exactly you're trying to develop or focus on here. Um, it's completely up to you. Now we can do the same for this. So let's say we're gonna have aerobic and anaerobic. Uh, let's go for seven weeks and six weeks and let's have a speed work for 13 weeks. You'll see underneath, yeah, they start to populate over here. Um, finally, uh, we've got a very basic overview of what we might plan for our athletes uh, relating to the volume, the intensity and the load. So the first table here is just um, the strength training. The second one is the conditioning and the third one is the overall training. So we can manipulate these by these little drop down menus. So we can change the volume and the intensity. It gives us a very rough measurement of training load. Um, yeah, and we can go through and do this for all of them. And we can see it updates in this figure underneath. Um, yeah, this gives us a very broad overview, sort of a template to what we might uh, plan across our training seasons. And um, definitely this will get into more detail uh, once we start actually planning sessions out and planning training weeks out. Uh, if you want to clear this, there's a clear all button here. We'll clear it all and the same you can do for that for comps as well, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys find this useful. Uh, any comments, let us know. Cheers.